was no windows. It was a door that was locked from the outside. It had a bed and a sheet, coffee can or milk jug, just depending on what she had in there for me to use. Uh, coffee can was for number two, milk jug was for number one. So that's where I used the bathroom. And I didn't eat a lot because she would crush that stuff up in there, in my food, in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for me to eat it. And I started realizing when I ate, I got stiff, so I wouldn't eat. And my sisters would bring me food and slide it under the door. I just got so tired of being locked in there. I mean, because it's like you get a taste of freedom to go to school, and then you come home, and I had to lock myself in there because you'd turn the lock from the outside and shut the door. Before she got home, I had to have been in there. And after time, I mean, I just got to the point from not just the abuse, but the pills and the medicine and drugs and everything else that the only way I knew to get out of all of it was to kill her. And uh, I took a butcher knife out of the drawer one night, put it under my mattress, because I was thinking about it. And they never locked their room, never. So I was thinking of how I was going to do it and get away with it. And I knew that I had to kill my stepdad first, because he would be the one that would fight the most if he saw what I did. So if I got him first, then I'd have to go after her second. She would be in shock. She wouldn't move from seeing what I would do to him. So I had it planned out, perfect. And the night that I went in the hallway, my sister was standing at the door, at the bathroom door down the hall, looking at me when I came around the corner. something that would have been on my conscience and everybody's life would have turned out different.